Max Verstappen's future at Red Bull is still up in the air having fallen out with team principal Christian Horner. It's a potential switch that no one would have envisaged four months ago. But the future of reigning F1 world champion Max Verstappen is still up in the air after he was linked with a sensational move to Mercedes. The 26-year-old is currently the overwhelming favorite to land a fourth straight driver's title, despite being forced to retire from the last Grand Prix in Australia following wins in Bahrain and Saudi Arabia. But his place at Red Bull remains under scrutiny following a reported fallout with Christian Horner. The team principal was recently cleared following an internal investigation into alleged inappropriate behavior towards a female member of staff, but the complainant is appealing that verdict and may yet take the case to an employment tribunal. That saga has reportedly prompted a power struggle between Horner and Red Bull chief Helmut Marko, with Verstappen seemingly siding with the latter. His father Yosh has also publicly called for Horner to be removed from his position, leading to crisis talks between the three. And the Englishman's opposite number at the Silver Arrows, Toto Wolff, has now sought to capitalize. The Austrian has made contact with the Dutch driver with a view to him replacing Lewis Hamilton for the 2025 season after the seven-time world champion announced he would be joining Ferrari on a two-year deal. However, the current performance of the W15 cars threatens to scupper any hopes that Silver Arrows personnel hold of snaring Verstappen. Hamilton himself is currently floundering, managing just eight points in the opening two races before failing to finish in Melbourne. George Russell has fared marginally better picking up 18 points before also having to retire down under. But the perception that Wolf's team would be more competitive in the 2024 campaign following a barren two years has thus far proved misplaced. And after only qualifying in 11th down under, Hamilton implied that the team had failed to address the instability of their vehicles that has plagued performance since 2021. I really struggled with the car yesterday, and then FP3 I was really much happier with the car, with a slightly bigger wing, but I was losing two tenths in the straight, he said. But I gained some stability back, and I was I was much, much happier, and I thought I would carry that into qualifying. But unfortunately, the bouncing is still there. It makes it very, very, very difficult to push through that for a session. That's why we were so slow in that first sector. Given Verstappen's obvious desire to continue dominating the sport, he's unlikely to try and tolerate a team that can't provide him with a championship-winning car. He's currently contracted to Red Bull until the end of 2028, and has recently voiced his intention to see out that deal despite the team's current internal strife.